Welcome you guys, this is Diane Flores. I am a desire map facilitator. I am a yoga teacher, a pole dance instructor, a desire map junkie, and you can find me at livingthegoddesslife.com. I have today for you the 2018 planner review, the desire map planner review. I'm incredibly excited to share this with you guys. I got an advanced copy of this. Um, I was selected out of a handful of people to check it out, just kind of get a feel for it and uh, share with you all exactly what I love about this planner. Obviously, first and foremost, how the freaking frick can you not love this? Look how beautiful it is. The colors are stunning and amazing. Um, she's done an amazing job at uh, the aesthetic appeal to this for those of you that love all things beautiful. This is stunning and absolutely gorgeous. So um, I love the hardcover. I actually have the, I didn't get the, the planner last year because I experimented with journaling um, in a bullet journal and keeping my agenda in my phone in terms of my schedule as well as in a bullet journal and the two have just been a little more cumbersome than I like so I'm stoked to already start planning out my 2018 with this. Um, everything is going to be in one place. I'm giving up sadly my bullet journal because it has not been working and after looking at this beauty it will uh, actually work wonderfully with the techniques that I use with the bullet journal. And I also have another blog and video on bullet journaling and you can check out my website if you're interested in that as well. But first and foremost, thick hardcover, absolutely wonderful. Um, the other thing I love about this um, planner is the spiral bound. So um, you have these big thick rings, which I was holding my pen here so you guys could kind of see. Um, I love because I can slip my pen in here and it's good to go and it's like it's not gonna run away from me. Um, and of course I love writing in some purple because it makes me feel sensually divine, which is one of my hordes layered feelings. Uh, but the other reason why I love the spiral bound uh, better than the planner that I got to the desire map planner that I got two years ago is it actually flips open and you can fold it back. So that is a huge perk for me. I love that I can flip it, um, lay it flat and it won't close on me. Uh, this is actually the daily planner. I got the daily. They also have a week, uh, weekly planner. So it's a little bit smaller and more compact. Uh, and this one works well for me because I put everything in here from business to kids appointments. Um, you know, everything and anything can go in here. My monthly to do's, my weekly and daily tasks can all go in here. So, um, so that's, that's another reason why I love this planner. Um, soft planners are just too pliable, moldable. And in fact, if I have my bullet journal that I'm transitioning from right now, it's a hot mess and it's just all folded up the pages are everywhere and I can't wait for 2017 to be over so I can dive into this one. I've already started putting um, important dates and uh, starting to manifest my 2018 with this beauty. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Okay, so diving into it, um, of course, Danielle did an impeccable job with starting right off the cuff. Uh, with what will you do to feel the way that you want to feel? That's your first prompt when you open up the book. Um, definitely put your own name in here. So if it comes into the hands of someone else, they can get it back to you. But another thing I love is there is the monthly tabs that are quick to view. So if you guys can see that, um, it goes all the way through starting obviously with January. And you can uh, leap right to January. It's got the month in advance. So I've already put my son's birthday in there. Um, and on the side, which is incredibly delicious and awesome, is a list of some core desired feelings. So um, just some, you know, some little triggers for you to think about your core desired feelings or maybe um, create some new ones and generate some new stuff for the upcoming month. Just a, just a continual reminder of this work, you guys. I love it. So uh, her core desired feelings, there's some on there. There's also, um, so when you flip into it, your first month, it's going to be your monthly check-in. So you'll have some prompts, some questions here to kind of get your mental juices flowing. Like, what do you want to start generating? What do you want to start forecasting for the month ahead um, and do, you know, and start planning out. So that way you can start planning out your life with the way that you want to feel, having those core desired feelings in mind. 
Um, so that's a great way. And I love that there's, um, at the beginning of each month, there is this big, deliciously awesome blank page so that you can um, just start, you know, start crafting some stuff in here. Ideas, desire, wisdom, anything is possible. I plan on using this as um, my projection as to the big things that I want to get done for the month and use this as sort of my guide to plan out the rest of my month. So you'll see that, and then you'll start diving into the actual um, daily. So if you do the, um, the daily planner, like I've got here, uh, it'll start with, you have a, a space here to write your schedule, so you have an area here. Um, I don't have like a play-by-play, -play, like eight to five type of job, so I can afford to have a little less space here and just bullet point my important uh, schedule, you know, schedule tasks in there. Um, it starts with what will I do to feel the way I want to feel right up here. So we're like leading the day with what we're gonna do to feel the way we wanna feel. Soul prompts. I love that th there are so many different ones. This is different, I believe, than the two years ago planner. Um, there are some soul prompts in here. How did you feel when you woke up today? So just checking in with yourself. This one is, what is your greatest desire? I'll flip to another random one. Um, soul prompt, I will, dot, dot, dot. Another one is, um, let's see, I just love the soul prompts because they really get you going. Uh, great things to journal on, just quick little jotted notes. What in your life are you forcing? So getting you thinking in the desire map realm already, right, in your daily planner. And this is great, you guys, as a desire map facilitator. Um, I know how easy it is to do the work, to go to a workshop or read the desire map book and, you know, um, really generate those core desired feelings. But then, you know, day happen, uh, day to day stuff happens, life happens, and you tend to put those on the back burner and you forget about your core desired feelings. And with this, you are every day reminded. So it's a wonderful way to stay in tune with your CDFs. You like that? Um, so yeah, so you've got uh, your schedule, three things I uh, don't, you know, three things that you wanna get done, three very important things you wanna get done for the day, which I love. I know we tend um, to pack our to-do lists, but pick out three really important things that you know once you accomplish, you will feel on top of the world after um, after you've completed your day. Um, I think uh, Stephen Pressfield, I believe it's Stephen Pressfield refers to like eat that frog, or maybe it's not, I'm, I'm thinking of the wrong author, but you want to eat the frog, which is like the hardest thing of the day, like just get it done. And then you'll generate that core desired feeling. Um, feeling free is one of mine. So I like to put my most n unpleasant tasks first and just get them out of the way. And I feel free and liberated after that. So you have to do's, stop doing. I love this, love this, love this, love this. I work with so many women and I know we love to load our to-do list, but we also need to think about our stop doing list. So that is on here as well. What do you need to stop doing? Uh, gratitude, daily gratitude practice as incredibly changed my life in so many ways. I can't even describe it. Um, I love that it's here. I journal in uh, my, you know, my private journal. I do morning pages every day, but I think that this is a great way to just have that top of mind as well. So, um, so that is kind of a run through. I know I'm talking really fast, you guys, but run through of the day to day in terms of the desire map uh, planner. There's also, if you guys can see these little perforated edges, I don't know, my camera's not really in focus, but um, you can kind of peel them back and it'll give you a little place for you to um, know where you're at in your planner as well. Another fun trick that I have with my planner or I've been playing around with is there's this elastic band on the back, which is awesome. Um, what I'm doing right now does not have one. I've been using a paper clip. Not so good. So you can do two things. You can wrap it around, keep it bound. It goes right in my laptop bag or my backpack actually. And um, the other option is too, let's say that you're um, you know, randomly in July and you want to have a bookmark. I know bookmarks are great. I use a paper clip, like I've been saying, but you can just wrap that band around July and then you'll know that once you open up, you're gonna be right there, right at July. So that's a nice way to use that band. Um, the paper is amazing quality. It doesn't bleed through. It doesn't smudge or smear. I've experimented with my ink pen, also a Sharpie pen, just to kind of play around with it. Um, doodle in here, but it is amazing. And um, I'm hoping you guys 
love it as much as I do. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Uh, like I said, there is nothing like having this top of mind, your core desired feelings, and leading your day with them. You can certainly go with the monthly, um, or I think it's the weekly planner uh, instead of the daily. And uh, for those of you that feel like you don't need something this detailed, but if you are a fanatic about planning out um, your life and forecasting your uh, year, I think this is a, fa a fabulous offer in terms of what you're gonna get in this uh, desire map. So hope you love it as much as I do. I will post a link for you guys to check it out. Um, I know they go so super quick. I think last year I checked them out and I waited way too long and they were sold out. So make sure that you scoop them up uh, sooner than later. They make amazing gifts for people, amazing Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, wedding gifts, um, whatever you can think of gifts for anybody. Uh, so make sure you check it out and let me know what you think.